Hey guys, Nick again. So I have another IT tool for you. So this one is called M Remote NG. If you work in IT or if you deal with a lot of different uh, remote desktops or even connections such as SSH or, or PuTTY connections, if you have those built out, this is a cool tool for you to use. Um, I use it pretty much daily when I'm remoting into different machines or even SSHing into different pieces of hardware. So let's get uh, started here. So uh, as you can see here, this is the website, it's mremoteng.org. It'll tell you all the protocols it supports, RDP, VNC, SSH, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and download it. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna download the stable version. You can get the zip file, which is portable. Let's download it to the computer here. I'm just gonna put it under my downloads and click save. Download complete. Let's run that quickly. Right. So I'm going to do the complete installation, which has all of these items here. Okay. So that is just finishing up now. Let's close this window. Let's open up Remote NG. And uh, we'll just use recommended settings for updates. And here we are. So let me actually, let me just uh, move this up a little bit, move this out. So as you can see here, we have connections. We have putty saved connections. If you expand this, these are my putty saved connections. So everything I've put into my putty and I've saved under here have now appeared into my remote NG. So I can go ahead and click on my diet pie, double click on that and it'll prompt, you, prompt me to log in. So let's go ahead and do a new folder. I'm gonna call this one just home. I'm gonna call this new folder home. You can set a connection username, password, domain, and all this stuff here. Uh, what happens is any connections that you create underneath this folder will inherit the permissions of this folder. So let's say you work on a domain, you can uh, have it so that the domain admin logs into each of those devices instead of you having to put in the credentials for each one. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first connection here. We're gonna open, uh, click new connection. We're gonna edit this file now. So new connection is going to be the laptop. So as you guys may be able to see behind me, I got my laptop there, we're going to remote into. Okay. So let's go ahead and the host name or IP. Let me go ahead and grab that. Okay, so it's 192.168.86.250. Username, I'm gonna put as my name my email address because it is with my live account password domain is no domain since I'm not on one protocols RDP which is 3389 that is fine okay so that all saves you don't have to click anything there we double click on it and it logs us directly in there so as you can see I'm in I can control it I can edit it I can do as I please, and I can add different connections. You can have different tabs. So if I click on Diet Pie, I now have a Diet Pie tab. I have my laptop. I can go back and forth. It's pretty seamless. Um, like I said, this is a tool that a lot of IT guys should be using that they may not know about. Uh, if you guys have any tools like this that you guys might use, I know that there is Remote Desktop Connection Manager a lot of people use. I find this one to be a little bit more robust. You can add more features to it, uh, such as, like I said, the putty sessions, which is great. Uh, if there's anything you guys would like me to uh, showcase on here, let me know. Like and subscribe, and have a good day, guys.